Hey guys, Cool Cat here. And today I'm playing that dragon cancer. Uh first of all I want to say one thing. Um from what I heard about this game is that it's a narrative art piece about about father's grief of his son dying of cancer. I'm not in, totally sure about the story or anything, it's just what I've heard. Uh me personally I've had I think I had an uncle who died of can lung cancer and I'm pretty sure at some point in this game this the game's gonna hit me really hard, so uh let's just all be mature about this because I feel sorry for the guy who made the game, you know, the father. And everything I know I'm a little late to it, but let's get into this guys. Bread on water. Uh... Yeah, okay. Okay. Now it's adjusted, so here we go. Wow, that's just... This is actually beautiful. It's very calming at first. I guess that's the kid up there. I heard that they, they actually use real audio from, like, home videos. Whoa! Kid? <laughs> you just threw a whole loaf of bread in there, but okay. Two years old can talk. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so Joe got sick. Kind of slow. Okay. Yeah, I think Joe. Yeah, you know he's gonna read. Cause I believe in Joe. <laughs> yeah, that family, they believe in their children. Okay, so I just feed this duck. Okay, so I give... Joel the bread. Okay, so now we're heading to the next scene. Dang. <laughs> this game's actually quite beautiful, to be honest. I'm chewing on a straw. Park at the edge of the world. And the warm wet tongues and the cool fur ducks. 
Okay, so this must be the dad. Good. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I'm back. I, I My microphone got discombobulated. I'm back now. Okay, so I have to go over to him. You're his dad. Obviously, but... <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to try to make too many jokes in this, because this is a serious game. Okay, let's go over to Joel. Well, which one's Joel? Okay, I guess that one's Joel. Because they're all wearing the same... This is an art piece, so I gotta... Just take it as it is. Okay, yeah, I guess these are all Joel, but these are personifications of the stuff he likes to do. Ready? Yay! You did it! Okay, now I think we're seeing it from his perception. There you go, buddy. Okay, let's go over to swinging, Joel. <laughs> this family, the story of this family is incredible. I mean, they had a big loss. I mean, any time you lose a kid, that is just the worst. So, if any of y'all in the comment section ever lost a kid or anything, uh, my prayers go to you. Y'all are, any of y'all who ever lost kids, y'all are strong. Y'all are strong as y'all. Y'all are strong as steel, to be honest. Or the most unbreakable. 
Okay. Last Joel. Okay. Okay. Anyways, yeah, people who've lost kids, just comment down below. My prayers go down to you. Okay, hold Uh -huh. Anyways, yeah, kid, yeah, losing a kid is just bad. My prayers go out to people who have. His food goes through that too. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Set. You want to touch him? Yeah. Go. Okay. 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 Hey babe, just had done at the doctor. Um, now they think that maybe he's throwing up all the time because he has acid reflux. So they gave me a medication and we can give it to Joel and they said we have to give it at least three full days. But that if he's still throwing yeah. up after that, we can come back. And they mentioned the head tilt thing again, even though they keep saying it's not related, but you always have to mention that one weird outlying thing. So I told them how his head was tilted to the right, but they still say that that's probably not related. Oh, come on, they're gonna hit me with this already? Oh. Is that supposed to be cancer out there? Yeah, it's supposed to be cancer. It's a sad reality. If it, if parents out there who actually have kids in the cancer hospitals or in the children's hospitals, my prayers go out to you. Kids shouldn't have to go through this type of stuff. Kids should be outside playing or doing what makes them happy. There's that one black tree amongst them all, which I think symbolizes cancer. And it's spreading. Yeah. Fear is cancer's preservative. True. Cancer's embalming oil. And you, old cancer, are fear's oil scent. You are a snake. A serpent. The dragon was snuffed out cold on his breath, molten. Talons broken from the struggle to free yourself of your own skin. Whoa. That dragon cancer. Oh, we're getting to the, f the main po focal point of the story. So far, I'm, I, I am thoroughly enjoying this story that is told. So... On hospital time. Oh, I've I've seen this one this part in a YouTube video once. It's like the most strenuous part.
he does. Wait, what? What's going on? Yeah. Yeah, they're in the. So far as I can tell, they're in a hospital. So. We got to navigate through that cancer. See if I can do this. Oh, the cancer got it. Come on. Okay. I guess this is sort of, I guess this is Joel's dream. Oh yeah, there's no way of stopping it. So I guess I'm playing as the wife now. Oh, they brought his dog up here to see him. Oh, no, he 
this is a This game can be a trip, but it's a very interesting one. But very beautiful so far. The end of treatment party. Look at the doggy. Just seen them together. They were so proud of themselves. Joel and Elijah are just sitting there with their eggs. Isaac said he thinks they want to be cookers. Alright. Talk to you soon. Bye. Barney and Aiden. Let's keep going. Oh, there's that. <coughs> oh, the phone's almost dead. Hey, honey, we're on our way home from the hospital now. So if you wanted to preheat the oven starting at about 30 minutes, that would work, and we could throw in that lasagna. Um, do you know how they celebrate off treatment day, like when kids are done with their treatments? I, I guess maybe. Oh, you know, that's that. Friend, that's really good right there. there. Sorry, I'm not talking much. It's just a really interesting like, story. We're not ever gonna get that day. If he's better, we won't know that he's better. We don't get a day. Anyway, okay, call me if you can. Like, there's probably traffic, so I can talk on my way home. All right, bye. Hey, Joel. What in the? Oh, am I playing? Lumbar punctures. Did he just crash? Because the on-call doctor is just a resident. Is 
Yeah, okay, so they can't... The Temple of Man. Okay. Yeah, you gotta turn on the lights. Kids get scared of the dark. Oh my... This is... That's an MR... Uh, what, is that MRI machine? Or a uh, CAT scan? I, don't, I, I forgot what those machines are called. Uh, no, it's the, there's radiation machines that do the radiation treatments. No kid should have to do that. Oh my god. Hey, it's you again. I love you. My son. I guess he's talking to the dog. This is my favorite thing. Do you see? Watch out, it's starting. <laughs> <laughs> you touch it right here, and the big light comes. You're not a steady light. It's so loud. I can roar, that's why I can. Yeah, I can roar. Wow! Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, it's lying in there. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Puzzle is it here? Hold on. <laughs> okay, apparently I completed the puzzle somehow.
Apparently that was sort of, I think that was Joel's dream, but... I'm happy I saw it. <laughs> such a small part of all you could grow to be. You will tire of hearing about it. You won't want to see the cards and notes I saved. And I won't mind at all. Yeah. I'll hold the memories of this hard day. You just leave it behind. But have no fear, our story, but have no fear, our story's just begun. What does this one say? Elsie, we love you dearly and miss you daily. That's just, that's, that's, that's the one thing about fighting cancer. The story has just begun. And there's cancer at the distance. What's this one say? We belong to each other. Okay. Blue one say. Take my tears, love. They will carry you home. Okay. Okay, let's get out here. And that's, this is like the sad reality of you know, like hospitals, is that you, like, I don't know, I've never been to a child's hospital, I mean, yeah, I have, but I've never been to, like, a cancer hospital for children, like, I wanted for so long to, like, volunteer at one of them, you know, put smile on kids' faces, but I can never find you out children's hospital to do it at, so. I mean, if I ever do, I'll probably, uh, go there, visit with the kids, make them laugh. I'm sorry, guys, it's not good. <laughs> I remember these toys. Okay, so I'm supposed to... <laughs> yeah, they had to... I'm sorry guys, it's not good. Oh... I'm sorry guys, it's not good. Sorry, 
And there it is. They get it now. Sometimes I wish we could just leave them waiting a few more minutes. Because once they get this news, their life never goes back to Yeah, that's the... Uh... That's the that's the sad part about being you know doctors and nurses and whatnot. And is like me personally, if I was a doctor and and I had to give the ki parents news their kid had cancer, that would tear me up in a second. I would hate to, I would hate to tell them. I would. It's hard to believe that we only made it halfway through chemotherapy. It was rough at first, but I really started to think that he was gonna make it. Any recurrence means the chemotherapy has failed. This is a tragedy. Okay, let's take a look here. Okay, let's see what the doctor says. With an ATRT, as soon as you have a recurrence of any kind, it is fatal. Oh my god. It's only a matter of time before it spreads to several locations. We've already thrown all the chemotherapy we have at it. We can't continue to give him chemotherapy that we know it's resistant to. So there just aren't any treatment options that are curative. I'm gonna see what the dad has to say. We're very good. We're very good at managing the pain and masking symptoms at the end of life. God. Sorry. How long are we talking about? A few weeks to maybe four months. They just gave that kid four months to freaking live. I. Joel's birthday, maybe Valentine's Day, and that's it. Oh, uh, I mean, never mind that it's raining in the room, but when I'm pregnant, I'm too scared they think it was irresponsible. And now this, they'll think it's a replacement baby. I don't want a replacement. Good God! Oh, this is tearing at my heartstrings. It's a good thing to know that so we gamers, we we cared about Joel's story enough. Nothing will really buy us any time at this point. It just can make the time you have left more comfortable. So we'll schedule you to come back in Monday, and we'll have some options for you to consider. We're so sorry. What is the dad saying now? Whoa, that is a loud. Let's go towards dad. So uh, let's go towards the dad and Don't worry, Joe, I got gotcha. you.
เปิดวัดว There's that cancer. There we go. Okay. Expectation is so maddening sometimes. Do you know what she wrote on the eve of Joel's first surgery, the one back in January when we first found the tumor? I seriously feel like a kid on Christmas Eve. I'm pleading for God to spare his life, and I'm tempted to despair because self-inspection leads me to conclude I shouldn't expect much of anything. And yet my wife is expecting a surprise party from the Lord. Repeat the presence, supernatural miracles. Well, through God, all things are possible. I guess. Okay, there we go. Joel the baby nut. Okay, let's get this. Oh boy. Let's go. The boys get in bed. Oh, can you tell us a story? That dragon cancer. Uh, sure. Okay. This is the story of a very brave knight named Joel. Yes, Joel the baby knight. He's also Joel the very brave knight. He was being chased by a dragon. Because it was Jimmy. Where does the dragon live? In a forest. Is the dragon big? Yeah, that sounds good. So, so brave, 
to Joel with his sword and his shield and his awesome spear and his super jumping ability was being chased by a dragon named Kirtu. Oh, hold up. <laughs> he also has rays. That's not a superpower. It's the best superpower. You guys know how grace means? Yeah, it's kind of like help. Yeah, it's kind of like help. What's up, okay? But just when he thought that the danger was past, the dragon found his hiding spot and came after him in the cave. That dragon's going to kill you. Don't want to move. Why do you say that? Because don't. It's just a baby. Baby can't kill a dragon. All right. Tim from church. Okay, this game just got a whole lot more epic. Tim from church, come on. Okay, controls, he said controls are wonky. Did I lose? Did I win? Drowning? Okay, so I played the game. Okay, <laughs> so here we go. I see the father was very affected by this. How can you say false hope? You're drowning! Well, you're missing your oars! And you don't even know where you're going! And yet you're so sure you're gonna get there! It's better than drowning! It's always good to have faith. There's nothing deep about drowning. Just get in the boat! You have to let me feel this! Okay. 
Oh my god. This some faith. I'm gonna play the, the entire game, guys. The sunset looks pretty from here. The orange glow cast on the wall. Better than the muted colors of this hospital. I wonder why they choose blues and greens. Are they the ones who choose the colors that heal? Green for life. Blue. For comfort. Purple stripes to hide the stains. This chair is too small. It sticks to my skin. I hate vinyl. Blue. Purple. Hmm. The ocean, maybe? No. Under the ocean. Silent. Warm and salty, like tears. He won't stop crying. I don't blame him. He feels miserable. I hate that we're here. I hate that he's sick. I just want to feel better. I guess he's pacing. Here we go. Bouncing around. <laughs> Do you like that? Oh, I love your giggle. Bounce around. <laughs> Is that funny? A bounce, a bounce, a bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> oh, he won't stop crying. Ah. Uh. The fact that these were actual s Oh my god. 
god. Uh, start to feel like this. He drinks it greedily. Big, deep gulps. Okay, Jolie, that's enough. Breathe, kiddo. And he does. And I wipe his face of snot in tears and juice. And then he vomits. And I catch it. I always catch it. <laughs> to experience this. Starting to tear up a little bit because he's just emotional. Wow. <laughs> I'm I'm actually starting to tear up, guys. Uh, it's just Peace be still. There's a story in the Bible where Jesus and his disciples are on a boat. The furious storm hits the sea and everyone thinks they're gonna die. Where do you think Jesus is? Rowing alongside them? He's asleep in the back of the boat. So his disciples are freaking out and they come up and they say, don't you care if we drown? So Jesus gets up and he says to the storm, why? Be still. And the sea becomes completely calm. That's and he true. his disciples why they are so scared and if they have any faith at all. Like he was frustrated with them. Because even though Jesus said, let's go to the other side of the lake, his disciples thought he was going to just let them die. Yeah, I have faith. The faith of a mustard seed.
still in three key, but now we have blue lines of points. My best edict action is dancing like Maybe like five minutes? Nope, nope, wait, he's at 30. We must do what he says. Okay, I gotta say that... I, I forgot the father's name, but... he He's a pretty good dad, a really decent one. To go through what he went through. <laughs> Good joke, King Isaac. Samara, Elijah, is that too loud for you? Oh, I'm sorry, kid. You're too loud. Okay, here we go. That's sweet. <laughs> yes, the sort of sweetheart. Like, these are those tender moments. Like, I like those tender moments. That's beautiful. Wow. Okay, that's the end of the scene. Jesus wept for Lazarus. Five minutes later, he raised Lazarus from the dead. Okay, there we go. 
the temple of God. Okay. <laughs> He's on an iPad. Oh, he's got oh, he's got a holy shield and a holy sword. Okay. Why are there cancer trees in God's temple? I guess this is part of the art. <laughs> Big temple. These are prayers.
Wow. Is he talking about God? Wow. That was intense. I'm sorry I'm not I'm not talking much, it's just picnic at the edge of the world again. Did he did Joel did Joel die? Did was that was that just like an interpretation of his death? Oh my god. He's in a little white suit. So here we are. And the air is emptier without his laugh, and yet our hearts are still full. But with a different drink. Yeah, it's just sad because I've actually had for so family members died from freaking cancer. So also the Lord. Oh my god. And so we sit here in this new sign. And long for the music to start Just again. Tear it up. For the disc to spin again, even if it means going round and round for many more years. For at least we would be moving, and Joel would be laughing here on Earth. And not on in heaven. But in this space, I sense his silence is only because he is one one's breath. And now we know love and longing, empty and full, all in one. And I am grateful that we loved him well. And that we miss him well. And I hope that in the Lord's next breath, he will whisper his love song to you, his beloved. Oh my God. And that you will know him differently and more deeply. But now, you grieve in silence. Yet, not without his presence. Okay. Okay, so Joel is dead. He he died. So why would it's bad that this that this stuff happens to actual kids is that actually a real reality? I, I, this is left up to interpretation, but I believe from the point of view we're playing as, is that we're playing as maybe like God seeing Joel in, in This Is Heaven. Yes, you do, buddy. Yes, you do. Yeah, there you go, buddy. You are in paradise. Look, 
can catch one. <laughs> you go ahead, buddy. I'm blowing them all for you, buddy. Oh my god. Yeah, just, just catch them, buddy. Yeah, he's in heaven. Yeah. Thank you for playing. Yeah. What a masterpiece for Joe Evan Green. Yeah. There he is. Yeah, the kid, the kid who passed away. Anybody who's lost a child, my prayers go out to you. Anyone who's lost people to cancer, my prayers go out to you. And know that this scan, that this playthrough is done with all seriousness. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I want you to leave a like. Comment down how you felt about the video down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cool cat out. Thank mm -hmm. you.